Assalamu alaikum guys. Today we are going to start the next part of this chapter, Salt. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Learning objective for this lesson is choosing the method for the preparation of a salt. So this is very important. You must learn which method we should choose for the preparation of salt. So in order to learn or choose the method for the preparation of salt, the first thing which you all should memorize is the solubility rules of salts. If you know the solubility of salts, that which salt is soluble and which is not, it is very necessary. So, the types of salt for carbonates, which will have a formula like this CO3. So, if a salt is with carbonate like ammonium carbonate, sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, all the carbonate salts are insoluble. All other salts are insoluble except ammonium carbonate, sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate. So these are the carbonates which are soluble. So in the next step, chlorides. All chlorides are soluble. All chlorides are soluble except lead chloride, silver chloride. So these two chlorides are insoluble. So nitrates, all the nitrates are soluble. No one is insoluble. All these sulfates are soluble except lead, barium and calcium. So we can memorize the one word span. We can memorize this word span. Span means all the sodium, potassium, ammonium and nitrates salts are soluble. All the sodium, potassium, ammonium and nitrate salts are soluble. The salts which have these ions in it, all those salts are soluble. Again look at here, all the sodium salts, all soluble salts of sodium, all the nitrates are salt, all the ammonium salts are salt, all the potassium salts are salt. So all sodium, potassium, ammonium and nitrates are salt. Another one thing, all the salts of first group element, first group elements, all the salts like lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. So all the first group elements, salts of first group elements are soluble. And remember the word span, sodium, potassium, ammonium, nitrates are soluble. Just you have to memorize the chlorides which are not soluble, lead chloride, silver chloride, and sulfate which are not soluble like lead sulfate, barium sulfate, and calcium sulfate. So here we are going to choose the method which one is the best method? How, we, how can we prepare a salt? If we start to choose the salt, choosing the method for the preparation of salt. So if we choose this method, so first we will start. First question arises, is salt soluble? The salt which we are preparing, is it soluble? For example, if we are going to have a salt, we have to prepare some salts. I would like to give you the example. If we have to prepare a salt, for example, if we have to prepare, is the salt soluble? For example, we have to prepare a salt, sodium chloride. First, we will see that is this salt a soluble? Then we will come towards this chart if we have to prepare a sodium so sodium chloride we will say that all the sodium salts are soluble all sodium salts are soluble so we will say it is a soluble yes this salt is soluble 
then if you have to prepare a salt calcium sulfate then again we will check the solubility rule that calcium sulfate is an insoluble salt so it is a an insoluble salt if we will have to prepare magnesium chloride then we will check this if magnesium chloride is soluble all chlorides are soluble except calcium lead and silver so magnesium is the soluble salt so first we will check the solubility of these salt either these are solid or aqueous the first thing which we have to know that is the salt soluble if the salt is not soluble if it is a solid one then in that case the method which we have used that will be the precipitation method for the precipitation method for example we are going to prepare a salt of silver chloride silver chloride an insoluble salt we will prepare silver chloride by having two soluble salts silver the soluble salt of silver is silver nitrate and the soluble salt of chloride is sodium chloride so we will use two soluble salt to prepare an insoluble salt so this will be the method for this precipitation method we use two soluble salts so next we will move on is salt soluble then react acid with alkali metal oxide and methyl carbonate yes. if the salt is soluble then we will use acid for this reaction if we will use acid obviously one part will remain as aqueous and we are going to decide that is metal oxide or metal hydroxide metal carbonate soluble the first with we use with acid is this part is soluble if yes we are going to have the first soluble and going to make an aqueous salt then the procedure of titration we will used and if we have for example we have to prepare sodium chloride plus then we will use alkali and acid both are in aqueous state and we are going to prepare along with this aqueous a soluble salt now if metal oxide or metal or metal carbonate which we are using is not soluble means one is solid another one is aqueous and making a soluble salt then in that case we will use the method is the excess method like we will use this solid in excess for example if we are going to have copper oxide plus sulfuric acid a salt and water will be formed neutralization reaction will be take place then this copper oxide solid part will be taken in excess why because we have to utilize all the acid otherwise if salt will not be reacted completely then salt will be contaminate it can be an uh, a salt of acidic acidic nature so we will use excess copper oxide in sulfuric acid to make this soluble salt i would like to give you another explanation that how we will go through all of these points all of you must remember why we are going to have the reactions of uh, metals like for example i am going to write the reactivity series kamal never calls me at zoo full public has come to say hi assalamu alaikum 
this is one is the reactivity series the very important point which i want to say to you about the reactivity series it helps a lot to choose the method to prepare a salt this one is the reactivity series if we have to prepare a salt of the very reactive metals these are highly reactive metals so we cannot prepare these salts uh, the salts of these uh, elements in the laboratory by reacting these metals directly we cannot use these metal direct with acid we cannot use this method direct with with acid these are the moderate these are the least reactive so the last final these will not react with the dilute acids so remember one thing if in the exam you have a salt to prepare like potassium chloride or sodium chloride or sodium sulfate or any salt of sodium so in order to prepare this sodium this salt of very reactive metal we will use the hydroxide so we will use the hydroxide like we can use potassium hydroxide plus acid we can use sodium hydroxide plus acid we can use calcium hydroxide plus acid and remember when all these two things are in aqueous state the method which we will use will be the titration method so very reactive metals cannot react directly or safely their reaction will be very violent and reaction will be very vigorous so we will not react these metals directly the reactive metals we will use the hydroxide of these metals like potassium hydroxide plus acid sodium hydroxide plus acid calcium hydroxide plus acid okay if we have to prepare a salt like magnesium sulfate or zinc chloride magnesium sulfate or zinc chloride or iron sulfate we will directly use these metals with acid metal plus acid we can use it directly and when we will use it directly so these uh, metals will use the excess method one is solid other one is aqueous excess metal will be added in the acid so excess method will be used here but if there is very least reactive this reaction these are the very least reactive metals but if we will react copper so copper will not react with dilute acid no reaction no reaction because it is least reactive very concentrated sulfuric acid and very concentrated nitric acid can be react but in lab if we have to prepare salt of copper we will use its oxide or carbonates we can use its oxide or carbonate so we will use its oxide so the summary of this if we have to prepare a salt of very reactive metal we will use the hydroxide of all of them if we will use uh, the if we will want to make a prepare a salt of uh, moderate reactive metals like magnesium sulfate zinc chloride iron sulfate we will use direct metal with dilute acids and if the least reactive metal is there then we will use the oxide of it because the least reactive metals will not react with dilute acids here aluminium having an oxide layer on it so due to the presence of oxide layer on it it will not seems to be react with dilute acids so if you we will remove this layer then we will be able to get this reaction otherwise not so this is the way how will we choose the method of uh, preparing the salt so this is the end of the uh, lesson i hope so you people learned a lot about how to choose the method for the preparation of salt 
so in order to get the bet better understanding repeat this lesson watch this video again pause it for a while and get all the instructions clearly and note it down down by your hand because if you want to retain these things in your mind then do hard work and start writing with your hand as well so this is the end of the lesson i hope you learned a lot stay safe stay blessed signing off miss aisha manzoor